Okay, we made it. This was uh, the original bowl that went into the oven. It's um, it it baked uh, well, well enough. You could hear how um, hollow it sounds. That means there's a good gluten structure in there. It's it'll be a little airy. You'll have some nice tunneling. Um, don't get too caught up in in tunneling. Um, is it beautiful? Yes. Is it bread porn? Yes. But remember that it's also holes in your bread that um, mayo or butter or jelly or olive oil will just seep right through. <laughs> and we do all this so we get to taste this lovely sourdough bread. Not to take a picture of a piece of bread with a bunch of holes in it on Instagram. All right, so that, that was number one. Um, when it comes out of the oven, it feels... Um, it, it it's quite hard, almost like like freshly hardened glass. But give it like an hour, and you get that crust that is going to crackle. Um, I don't know if you can see like this fine these fine lines right here, these cracks. These are what will these are what will take place um, if everything's been done uh, fairly well. Um, you'll get like these little miniature cracks of uh, you know steam trying to escape. This one's probably a little bit hot. This is our second loaf. It is very um, dense because uh, it's just freshly out of the oven. Um, I can't. I can squeeze this one a little bit, but it doesn't have as much give. Um, trying to listen for it to see if yeah, it's doing a little bit. Those little crackles. Um, I had to spray this one as well because I didn't want it to be too dry, but this is sort of that burnished look I was telling you about, like an old leather glove or um, like a cigar chair or something like that. Uh, I pulled this in out early because I knew if I developed more of that color that um, I'd probably get too hard of a husk as far as the outer crust is concerned, but this, um, this bread formula is designed to have like a nice thin crisp crust. So any um, decent serrated knife. Um, these are great for sandwiches. What I love to do this, um, what I love to do with these is uh, make French toast. Um, Ponzinella, what else? If you throw this um, in a pan and just fry it with like olive oil and you grate an heirloom tomato on it um, and just a little bit of salt, um, even that in itself is delicious. But obviously uh, the opportunities are endless. Um, if you have any questions, um, please let me know, and I'll do my best to field them. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and um, enjoy your bread. Uh, don't, be, uh, don't be a stranger if you have anything that's sort of mystifying or lost on you. Because there's probably at least, I could probably name four things that I didn't cover, or maybe I stumbled back and forth on as far as terminology is concerned throughout this process. But for the most part, we've covered it. So I anticipate those conversations. I look forward to them, and we'll see how your uh, bread goes in the future. All right, good luck. I'll be around.